So most people think that zones in general are overpowered and my question today is should the 2-3 zone be removed from 2k16 now obviously the 1-3-1 one, one zone was removed from this year's game because a lot of people felt that it was just overpowered and that's due to a variety of different things um, obviously on defense the player can control more players basically at once if you're really good at switching on offense you can only control one player and it doesn't help that the passing on offense is just too slow to even break the defense like if you're not a cheeser or not a sim player you probably know how to break the 2-3 zone this year um, but if you are a straight up player odds are you're gonna get crushed by it because it's too unrealistic it almost feels like you can't create an open shot off of a pick and roll, off of a double pick, stuff like that. Um, you just got to know where to set them and everything. You can figure how to do that out in my skills guide. But anyway, um, the 2-3 zone to me, um, I just think it needs to be toned down a little bit. I feel as if it should be toned down a little bit for 2K16. Like if you notice in the 2-3 zone, if you try to run over to the right side of the court from the left side of the court, the shooting guard will pick you up basically from the point guard spot and bump you all the way. Like there's no way like a shooting guard like Anthony Morrow should be able to bump like LeBron James just out of his way and into a double team. It just makes no sense and it's not logical. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments below. But anyway, in this gameplay you would notice that this guy had a really good defense. He was probably and probably still is one of the best defenders on 2k15 this year and his 2-3 zone can be suffocating if you don't know how to break it and of course Ibaka hits a buzzer beater 3 on me anyway um the Warriors probably the best defensive team in the game they have that new lineup now with Draymond starting at the 5 and I don't even use it I still put Bogut at the 5 I just think that's sort of unrealistic and I've seen it happen to me but Somehow they still out-rebound your team. Like You can have Mozgov, Thompson, Love all in a starting lineup. And fucking Draymond Green, Harrison Barnes, and Iggy will out-rebound them. That's pretty crazy. And I think if you notice, a lot of times offensive rebounds are definitely predetermined. Um, you can definitely know that they're going to rebound it over you before the ball even hits the rim. Because sometimes um, players will get like a crazy fluky animation and you need to see that they're going to get the ball back and that needs to go as well for 2k16 but today it was announced or this morning it was announced that dj Khaled, dj premier and dj mustard are going to be doing the 2k16 soundtrack and basically premier is pretty much a legend um i think most of you guys know about Khaled. i don't know anything about dj mustard um it's just me though um, I really have never heard of him, to be honest, before today. But it uh, should be interesting to see what the soundtrack is looking like. All I gotta say is thank God it's not Kanye or Jay-Z anymore. Um, personally, I think the soundtrack should be mostly hip-hop and rap since basketball is more of an inner city, um, more metro type of game. And I just think that rock, you know, pop and stuff really don't belong in 2K soundtrack because let's be honest, when you're playing basketball most of the time. But I want you guys to look at this possession. This was just the possession of the year. I'm actually kind of proud of it. I find Clay in the last second get a green release for the three to go up seven. That was just a clutch moment. I was like just screaming when I made the shot. Or just yelling actually, drag my dunks right over Singler, and that's sort of payback for costing me a game earlier in the year. But I find Clay to put him in the coffin going up 10. He's gonna quit out upcoming here. But if you enjoy the gameplay, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know your comments on the 2 3 zone, the soundtrack, and also don't forget to check out the guide as well. I'm out. Peace.